Good morning, everybody. The intentions for Holy Mass today for peace between Russia and the Ukraine for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for those recommended to our prayers, and uh, for the soul of Simon Bosson, uh, Luke's aunt, who died this morning and for the conversion of sinners. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me, for you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me and guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the presence of the Lord and his gift in the Eucharist, let us ask forgiveness for all the impediments and sins and failings in our lives. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace so as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. James. Blessed is the man who endures trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. <coughs> Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good endowment and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man whom you discipline, O Lord. Blessed the man. O Lord. Blessed the man whom you discipline, O Lord, whom you train by means of your law, to whom you give peace in evil days. Blessed is the man whom you discipline, O Lord. The Lord will not abandon his people, nor forsake those who are his heritage, for judgment shall again be just, and true, all true hearts shall uphold it. Blessed is the man whom you when I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy, O Lord, holds me up. When cares increase in my heart, your consolation calms my soul. Blessed the man whom you discipline, O Lord. Alleluia. 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 
If a man loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. And they discussed it with one another, saying, we have no bread. And being aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why do you discuss the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Having eyes, do you not see? Having ears, do you not hear? Or do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And they said to him, Seven. And he said to them, Do you not yet understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we've got plenty of questions in today's Gospel. Indeed, critical questions, questions which actually uh, tear into the disciples the harshest criticism you will find in the New Testament of the Apostles by Jesus, arguing about a loaf of bread and taking no notice of what Jesus said about the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. Arguing about one loaf after Jesus had fed all those people, 5,000 and 4,000 Jews and Gentiles alike, are they stupid? Or are their hearts hardened? Are they blind? Are deaf? Do you not yet understand? I was very amused by an advertisement, I suppose it's a very serious business, but it, I was amused by an advertisement on the radio about um, trying to discourage people from harassing women. And the question was, what do you not understand about no? Is it the N or is it the O? It's so simple. What did they not understand about Jesus? Was it that they were doubting still his power? Or who he really is? Or were they wondering about the bread, well, their loaf, but bread in general, that Jesus is the one bread who will bring Jews and Gentiles together round his table. So these could be questions about Jesus, Christological questions or questions about the Eucharist. But what about us? What do we not yet understand? 
Where are we blind or deaf? Or are, where have our hearts been hardened? We, do we really understand what it means for the real presence of Jesus to be in other people, in the poor, in this world? Do we not really understand what it means for the Word of God incarnate to love us and to want to live his risen life in us. There will always be questions because we are dealing with a mystery. And there will always be aspects of the mystery which we cannot grasp because it is of God. We will always fall short. But not, let us not fall short through stupidity, through carelessness, through wastefulness of the gifts we are given. Let us live in a spirit of awe and wonder and thanksgiving for the gifts of God, whether we understand them or not. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and the glory of his name. Amen. For our good and good of all 
May this offering, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become, for those who do your will, the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life. For you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember Simon Bosson and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Uh, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we have learned to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, 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 the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. <coughs> the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world in the ruin of souls. Amen.